Yo guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Welcome to episode 4 of our Leicester City career mode here on FIFA 20. In today's episode, we have two tough games. We start at Old Trafford against Manchester United, and then we are welcoming Spurs to the King Power Stadium. And of course, there is a big bug in the game where every single team is not playing their strongest players. It's not just the big clubs. I had to change the teams against Sheffield United and Bournemouth as well. So it is the smaller clubs as well as the bigger clubs. But Manchester United have had a decent start to the season. Two wins, two draws, picking up eight points. But Spurs down in 11th, averaged a point a game. One win, one draw and two losses. But of course, for every single game we play until there is a fix, which is hopefully soon, I will be selecting the strongest squads possible we are undefeated. Manchester United are undefeated as well in the opening four games. So let's go to Old Trafford and hand Manchester United their first loss this season. On the ball for Manchester United, plays it short to Lindelof. Now Harry Maguire, dangerous pass into Fred, but it does make it into him. Deli Ali, a very weird signing in my opinion, but Fred back on the ball, out to that right hand side, and it's a fantastic pass into Jesse Lingard. Great first touch, whips in a very good cross, and Johnny Evans for the second time getting the ball away from a cross, but I've played it straight to Paul Pogba. It's a charging run towards our defence. And Pogba is still going. What a run. Plays it short into Martial. Brilliant save from Cashman Michael to keep the score at 0-0. James picks up the loose ball into the fullback Ismaili. Is he going to have a shot towards goal? He's still going. It's a fantastic run. He's still going. What a run onto his left foot. Plays it short into James. Is he going to put in a cross? Oh, fantastic turn. And it's 1-0 Manchester United. The two players on the left wing linking up. Fantastic play to open the scoring from Manchester United. Wow. I just couldn't seem to win the ball back off Ismaili and then James. And it's a very good finish from the fullback. Manchester United 1, Leicester City 0. Indeedy on the ball into Tielemans. We've just conceded our first goal in the Premier League this season. Can we reply? Very, very quickly. Brilliant play from Damari Gray across into Jamie Vardy. He does get cleared away and James gets it further away, but it's going to fall to a blue shirt. Ricardo Pereira short into Ndidi. Now Tielemans. Can we find Jamie Vardy? Yes, we can. Ian Acho. It's a very good pass back into Jamie Vardy, but Harry Maguire gets in the way. And we are going to keep this attack alive. Right, Ndidi out to that right hand side. Okay, Johnny Evans out to that left hand side. Chilwell. Loads of space for Ndidi, forward to Iheanacho, that's not the pass I wanted. And Manchester United break up the attack, but it's been a very good response after going 1-0 down. Ricardo Pereira, forward to James Madison, now Iheanacho, forward to Jamie Vardy, it's a very good piece of play. Jamie Vardy is still going, it's a fantastic run, we're going to turn it onto his left foot, brilliantly done, but Harry Maguire, what a block. What a block. That was a high chance of being 1-1. But Harry Maguire gets in the way. Ndidi forward to Paul Pogba. Once again with a very good interception. But 30 minutes gone. Since Man United have gone 1-0 up, we have been the better team. Manchester United have not been in the game whatsoever since taking the lead. Deli Alley on the ball for Manchester United. Forward to James. Now Martial, who should be a bit more central and forward. But Fred on the ball plays it fantastically through here to Deli Alley, who doubles Manchester United's lead. Unbelievable. They've had two attacks and they've got two goals. Manchester United 2, Leicester City 0. And it's very good play. What an assist from Fred. And it's a very good first time finish. Casper Michael, no chance. Damari Gray on the ball. It's a very good play from the winger. But he does get tackled by Wan Bazaka. Now Jesse Lingard. Wan Bazaka once again 
as I was just saying, Manchester United haven't been in the game whatsoever since taking the lead. They get their second goal straight away. A pass out to that left-hand side doesn't quite work out. Ricardo Pereira picks up the loose ball right. Can we grab a goal back in this game before the break? If we can go into the break at 2-1, I will be very, very happy. Through here to Jamie Vardy. He's got the pace. Can he get a goal back for us in this game? Jamie Vardy, very good save. James Madison picks up the loose ball. Plays a lovely pass into Chilwell. Now indeed, great first touch, a strike towards goal. And James eventually gets the ball away. Like after going 1-0 down, it was a good response. We've done exactly the same after going 2-0 down. Deli Ali charging towards my defence. He tries to play it over the top to Pogba, I think, or Jesse Lingard on that right-hand side. And thankfully, it doesn't come off. But is there time for one last attack? No, the referee blows for half-time. And the half-time score is Manchester United 2, Leicester City 0. But after going 1-0 down, we responded really well. And then we've done exactly the same after conceding the second goal. So hopefully we can grab an early goal in the second half and get right back in this game. Indeedy on the ball into Tielemans. Quite a bit of space here for Ian Atcho. Now Jamie Vardy and the clearance falls straight to Tielemans. Into Chilwell. Through here to Damari Gray. Tielemans once again. Ian Atcho into Jamie Vardy. Okay, it's Madison. Overlap here from Ricardo Pereira. Across into Jamie Vardy and Lindelof does well. And the fullback gets it away, but only as far as James Madison. All right, a very good start to the second half. Can we make this pressure pay with a goal? Chilwell with the cross to the back post, and Jamie Vardy! It's a brilliant chance. What a delivery. And that, for someone like Jamie Vardy, is a very good chance, but he's headed it miles over the crossbar. He should have... I can't even get my words out. He should be at least... Hitting the target from there. That is a very good chance. James Madison on the ball. Oh, it's very good play from the Englishman. But James does very well for Manchester United to win possession back. You look at the scoreline. Manchester United 2, Leicester 0. And you think Man United are dominating. But they really aren't. They haven't really created any chances apart from their goals. But I guess that is what football is about. If you take your chances, you're going to win games. And that is exactly what Man United are doing in this game right now. Deli Ali on the ball for Manchester United into Pogba. To his left-hand side is Martial. Great pass and it's a great finish. Game over. Just under 20 minutes left to play. Manchester United 3, Leicester City 0. And that is three points wrapped up for the home side. Very good play from Man United once again. Paul Pogba with a very good pass. Great first touch from Martial. And what a finish. Deli Alli with a very good pass into Jesse Lingard. Now wan 15 minutes left to play. And Christian Tello with his first involvement in the game. Wins the ball back. Priet into Ndidi. Forward to Perez. Out to that right-hand side in Madison. Okay, it's gone into the full back. And somehow we've kept possession. Very good pass into James Madison, across into Jamie Vardy and Lindelof. What a game he has had. Ten minutes left to play, they're bringing off Pogba. I mean, it's game over anyway, so why not? Corner kick incoming from Madison. It's a very good delivery. Morgan gets his head onto it, but can't get enough power to direct it towards goal and cause David De Gea some problems. But nine minutes left to play. I just want to score at least one goal. That is what we deserve. We have played very well in this game and we definitely deserve at least one goal. I know it won't make any difference to the scoreline, but still, send our fans away a little bit more happy than 3-0. And we get a free kick in a dangerous position and I have no idea what I'm doing here, so I'm just going to hit and hope. Right, Madison is stepping up to take it and hopefully make it 3-1. Oh, it's a decent attempt. But David De Gea with a very simple save. If it had more power, I think that would have gone in for 3-1. But four minutes left to play, and it looks as though the final score is going to be 3-0 to Manchester United. Chilwell won the ball. Very good pass into Jamie Vardy. We're going to smash it a goal with Jamie Vardy. Very good save from David De Gea. Seconds left to play, and we get a chance 
to give our fans something to cheer about. Madison whips in across. It's a good delivery, a header towards goal from Johnny Evans. And it's looping miles over the crossbar. And there is the full-time whistle. Manchester United basically had three attacks and they got three goals. But that is how you win games and that's all that matters in games. If you play poorly but you create two, three chances and you score them all, you win the game. And that is exactly what kind of match this was. We didn't play poorly. We played very well to be honest. But their defence was really solid, especially Lindelof. Full-time result, Manchester United 3, Leicester City 0. on the ball forward to Jamie Vardy back into Perez this could be a brilliant start to the game Perez into the top corner two minutes gone and we have taken the lead at home to Spurs Leicester City won Tottenham nil what a start Son charging down this left hand side for Spurs brilliant turn across into the back post and for golly with a dreadful header towards goal what a chance, look at the space he had, he could have brought that down and smashed it towards goal but thankfully he didn't and it was a terrible header towards goal and the score is still 1-0 to us. Son on this left hand side, it's brilliant play from the attacking player, Son is still going, it's a fantastic run across into the back post for Golly this time with a better header towards goal but again it's off target. I thought that went in to be honest. But it's hit the side netting and the score is still 1-0. Ben Davis on this left-hand side for Spurs. Short into Son. Now Christian Eriksen surrounded by blue shirts. He finds Harry Kane. What a save from Schmeichel. Oh my God. He's made so many. Well, not so many. He's made some fantastic saves so far this season. And he's just made another one. Corner for Spurs. Short into Vogoli. On this right hand side he's got so many players to aim for and he's still going he puts it across to the back post a header towards goal and thankfully it was a simple save for the goalkeeper 31 minutes gone since we opened the scoring we really haven't been in this game whatsoever Spurs have been the much better team and Didi on the ball into Tielemans oh Suzoko gets in the way Christian Eriksen one Yama Eriksen once again now Suzoko into Fogoli, who's had two brilliant chances away at goal. Two headers, but thankfully both went off target. Now Harry Kane on a decent run, short into Fogoli. Brilliant block back into Harry Kane. What a save from Schmeichel. It was a snapshot from Harry Kane. It fell back to him so luckily. But wow, brilliant re re reactions <laughs> and a fantastic save from the goalkeeper. 37 minutes gone, corner incoming. They play it short to Fogoli. He's on a good run here, the winger. He's been heavily involved in this game. Fogoli lays it off here to Suzoko. Now one Yama, good block. And we are eventually going to get the ball away finally. 39 minutes gone and I really need to step my game up. Son on the ball for Spurs. Christian Eriksen, Son once again. Now Ben Davis, and there is the half-time whistle. Thankfully we are going into the break 1-0 up. Like I said on a couple of occasions now, since going 1-0 up, Spurs have been head and shoulders above us. One Yama on the ball. Decent pass out to Son on this left-hand side. Now Ben Davis going to make a run down this left wing, is he, with the ball? Plays it straight to Perez. Now Ricardo Pereira, very good pass into Tiedemans. Left-hand side is Harvey Barnes, and that's a terrible pass. Zoko with a very good interception. Christian Eriksen charging towards my defence. And he's still going. It's a very good run from the Tottenham man. Five minutes into the second half. They are up in the pressure. Harry Kane with loads of space. Back into Suzoko. And rightly so. 
Spurs have an equalising goal. What a start to the second half. And it's very good and patient play from Spurs. Look at the space Harry Kane has. And he finds his teammate. And it's a very good finish. Past the goalkeeper into the bottom corner. Leicester City 1. Tottenham Hotspurs 1. Tielemans into Iosi Perez. Does well to keep possession. Indeedy. Out to Ricardo Pereira. Short into Jamie Vardy. Now Perez. And it goes straight into a Spurs man. Christian Eriksen into Suzoko. Ten minutes into the second half. And if Spurs keep up this, this play. I don't see myself getting anything out of this game. So I really need to step my game up. If I want to get anything out of this match. Chilwell. Very good pass into Jamie Vardy. Here we go. Can we retake the lead? We get past the Tottenham man. Jamie Vardy still going. Otamendi recovers and clears the ball away. Ricardo Pereira into Ndidi. Tielemans for to Jamie Vardy. Okay, it's Perez. Lovely back heel into Jamie Vardy. Good turn onto his right foot. Jamie Vardy with the shot. It's going to fall to Harvey Barnes. Across into Tielemans. And they get the ball away. That was a very good couple of minutes from us. Hopefully more to come and we can retake the lead. Here Spurs go. Harry Kane on the ball, surrounded by blue shirts, and he's still in possession for Golly with the cross. And it finds a blue shirt, thankfully. And we are going to get the ball away. Christian Tello forward to Jamie Vardy. Overlap on this right hand side from the fullback. And surely he's not going to get caught. And look at the blue shirts swarming into the box. Can we pick one of them out? It's a very good cross into Barnes. And again, it's good defending from Spurs. 67 minutes gone and the last 5 to 10 minutes or so we have been very very good Harry Kane on the ball short into Suzoko now into Eriksen right hand side is for Goli 1 on 1 with the goalkeeper brilliant save brilliant save from Kasper Michael once again Harvey Barnes on the ball can't keep it Wanyama was just too strong 20 minutes left to play I know they are on the attack but I want to make some subs I want to make some subs right we're going to bring James Madison on for Harvey Barnes I think we're going to bring Perez off for Ian Acho and you know what we're going to bring Christian Tello off for Damari Gray Ericsson on the ball into Harry Kane he's got three players to aim for in the box across goes in across goes back into Christian Ericsson and he smashes it off the side netting absolutely lethal strike towards goal if that was on target I think that would have sneaked past Casper Smichael for 2-1 but thankfully it's a goal kick and our triple sub has just been made Madison Gray and Ian Acho so hopefully in these last 20 minutes those three players can be a big difference for us Ricardo Pereira into Damari Gray now Ian Acho Jamie Vardy Ian Acho once again back into Vardy Ian Acho back into Jamie Vardy. It's almost fantastic play, but a stretching interception from Otamendi, I think it was. Oh my god, that was so close to being 2 1. 15 minutes left to play for Golly, charging down this right hand side, puts in a cross all the way to the back post. It's fantastic play. What a goal! What a goal that is. Son back across goal into Ericsson, open goal. I don't know what else to say, but you know what? Spurs 100% deserve it. Christian Eriksen with his first Premier League goal of the season. But there's 12 minutes left to play and there is still time to get something out of this match. Fogoli on the ball into Harry Kane. A lovely 1-2 between the two players. Out to this right-hand side in for Lorenzi. Whips and across and Ndidi with a defensive header. And it's going to be a corner kick. For the away side, they are 2-1 up. They're looking to wrap up the game. Eriksen whips it in. It's not the best. And Tielemans with a dodgy first touch. But thankfully, we are going to come away with the ball. Right, can we find a teammate? Yes, we can. James Madison, Jamie Vardy out to that right-hand side. And it's a fantastic pass into Damari Gray. Now Ian Acho, Jamie Vardy. This is very good play. Can we find Ian Acho once again? No, nope, we can find Gray though. Overlap from Pereira across into the back post to Jamie Vardy. And it's just over hit. Can we keep it in? No, we can't. That was almost a brilliant move. But the final pass, again, just wasn't there. The full-time whistle has gone and we've picked up zero points once again. 
we had a blistering start to the match and that's where it ended for us. We really didn't do anything after scoring and Spurs definitely deserved the win and Spurs could have easily grabbed another couple of goals. That is now four games without a win so things not looking great for us at the moment but with the team we've got I'm pretty confident things will pick up. So after losing twice in today's episode, we have dropped right down to 12th place. Two wins, two draws and two losses. At the top, Manchester United, three wins, three draws, zero losses. Aston Villa are the only other club alongside Manchester United yet to lose a game this season. Spurs, Arsenal and Liverpool climbing the table after a dreadful start. But Manchester City, one win in the opening six games. And Chelsea, no wins in the opening six games. Wolves, Crystal Palace, Chelsea and Sheffield United are the only clubs yet to pick up a win this season. In the next episode, we start in Carabao Cup action away at Arsenal. And then we have a very good chance at home to Newcastle to get back to winning ways after not winning for four games. Still very early, so I'm not worried. We have a very good team, very good squad, so I'm definitely not worried. There's only four games, and it's still only September, so there is still a very long way to go until the end of the season. So that is going to wrap up today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.